ففروا إلى الله إني لكم منه نذير مبين ولا تجعلوا مع الله إلها آخر إني لكم منه نذير مبين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونشكره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه ما يهدي إلا فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله The topic before me is uh, Al-Muslima and the Quran in the month of Ramadan. Muslima is a female Muslim who submits herself wholeheartedly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is ready to follow the dictates of our Lord, who realizes that our being in this world is not just by chance, but the will of our Creator, and that this Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not just uh, sent her to the world without guidance. The guidance is nothing but the Quran. It's a fulfillment of Allah's promise on Adam and we that are his descendants. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah to Baqarah, verse 38, Bismillah rahman rahim فَإِمَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي أُدَى فَمَنْ تَبِعَ هُدَايَا فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَعْزَنُونَ That there shall come upon you guidance from me, that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from our Creator, and that whoever follows this guidance will be rightly guided and will not have fear nor grief. That is, whoever follows the Quran as guidance of his or her life will have no cause to regret of, of, of her existence. She, as a Muslim, will never regret her coming to this world because she's on the right track, because she's constantly receiving direct message from her Lord. The Quran addresses her directly just like it addresses other people in the world, just like it addresses the whole of mankind. So now, that is to tell us that we should relate closely with the Quran for us to be well guided always. We have to be in close relationship with the Quran, even outside Ramadan. Now, with the coming of Ramadan, it has to be on the increase. We have to increase our relationship with the Quran. Because the last one what Allah says in Surah to Baqarah, verse 185, that Bismillah rahman rahim Sharu Ramadan, Allah di unzila fi ilo Quran, Udan linas, Wabayjina tibin al Uda wal furukon. That is, the month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guidance for mankind, as a criterion between right and wrong. So that is to tell us that the, our, our reading of the Quran, our relationship of the Quran, our getting close to the Quran should be on the increase during Ramadan because that is the month in which it was revealed. We should not be among the neglectful ones whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described as taking the Qur'an, as, uh, as deserting the Qur'an, not maximizing the, the message that our Lord, that, that their Lord has sent to them. Now, how do we relate with the Qur'an in the month of Ramadan? The first thing is we have to be reciting it regularly, on a daily basis. It is not a book meant to be kept on our shelves. Rather, it is meant to be read on a regular basis. We interact with the Quran by reciting. And when we recite, we take it as the address of our Creator. We assume the position of the addresses 
that is receiving the message of the Quran. So when we recite the Quran, we must recite with the involvement of the whole of our body. Our intellect must be involved, our tongue, our body. We should ensure we concentrate while reciting. And there, when we recite, it must be accompanied with the movement of our lips. We don't just read the Quran as if, as if we are reading ordinary book. Either we recite, recite loudly or silently, it must be all involved. As in, when we recite, we move our lips, we move, uh, we ensure we pronounce the words correctly. This is very important when we are reciting the Quran. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون. Another aspect of our relationship with the Quran is to memorize the Quran. That is حفظ القرآن. We should also cultivate the habit of memorizing, not only recitation. When we memorize, we should ensure we don't forget what we memorize of the Quran, because it is not a good habit to memorize the Quran and forget it. Then in Ramadan, apart from memorizing new chapters, new verses, we should also do a kind of moraja, revision, on, the, on those portions we have memorized before. Then in addition to memorizing the Quran, we should also ponder, we should also know the meanings of the verses. That is, Ma'arifatul uh, Ma'ani Ayati. This will enable us to understand the message. But if we just read without understanding what we are reading, then it may not produce the desirable effect. The another way of relating with the Quran during this month is to do tadabur or tafakkur al Quran. That is, we should reflect on what we recite. It is not just enough to recite the Quran without proper pondering on the verses that we recite. We have to ponder over what we recite in order to uh, benefit maximally from the recitation. Because Allah SWT even challenges us in the Quran when he says, Afalaya tadabbarun al Quran. Do they not ponder over the Quran? Because there is no way you ponder and you will not have deeper meaning of what Allah is telling you, what Allah is requesting from you as a creature. So it's very important that we do a reflection of the verses that we recite. Then apart from this, we also have to walk. We, walk, we have to translate the message of the Quran into actions. And the Prophet wasallam demonstrated this in his uh, lifetime. Because when Aisha was asked that what was the personality of the Prophet, Aisha said uh, uh, the, uh, the Prophet wasallam was Quran in action. So it is not just enough to recite, to memorize, ponder over the Quran, and then our way of life is devoid of the message. No. Our way of life, the way we live our lives, must be full of the message of the Quran. That is, we must be able to translate the Quran into actions by living the Quran, by ensuring that we live our lives the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to live it by following his dictate, by following his message. This is how the Quran will be meaningful in our lives. Then as Muslima, 
in the month of the in the month of Ramadan, we have to decide even before Ramadan comes that how many times do we want to finish the Quran? Is it once? Is it twice? Is it more than two times? We have to decide. This is the way the early Muslims are related with the Quran in Ramadan. So we read about some of them that used to finish the Quran three times in the month of Ramadan, some two times. At least, however lazy one may be during the month of Ramadan, one should be able to uh, finish the Quran at least once during Ramadan, reading it from the beginning to the end. This will assist us in uh, gaining the message more. If we read, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to read with tariti, that we read uh, in a way that will make us with the proper pronunciation of the words and with proper understanding of what we are reading. Like Aisha Rodi Allah, Anya, it was said that she used to finish the Quran uh, in seven days when the month of Ramadan called, uh, during the month of Ramadan. So we too can decide, we can be determined, we can resolve in our hearts that in our relationship with the Quran, in this Ramadan, in, in this Ramadan, I'm going to finish the Quran one, uh, once, I'm going to finish it two times, I'm going to finish it three times, or even more than that. What is forbidden is for us to finish the Quran in less than three days. The Prophet Islam said, if anybody completes the reading of the Quran in less than three days, he or she has not understood what he reads. So we should not uh, aim at finishing maybe one day or less than three days. But we can choose anything above that. Then uh, we should also uh, 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 follow some etiquettes when uh, reading the Quran, when reciting the Quran. One of it, part of it is uh, taking the Quran as a message that is directed to us, uh, understanding the, uh, the magnificence of the one that sent the Quran, the Almighty Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that sent the Quran to us, understanding his greatness, understanding the greatness of the speaker that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should seek to understand the message of the Quran itself. We should make the Quran to impart in our lives. It should impart in our lives. We should seek his understanding. Then uh, we should live by it such that we uh, improve and progress based on our relationship with the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Quran to impart positively in our, on our lives and it may it make us benefit maximally through the Quran in this month of Ramadan. Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbil aizzati amma yasifun wa salamu ala al-mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. That is for deen, al-islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for the Remembering Allah and rise for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for zakah to cure our greed. When we give our money to those in need. That is for salamun alaykum. Peace be with you. Wa alaykum as -salam.